There we go. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. We're here today for another Vlogmas video, which means we're here with another book list. Today we're going to be doing a list on listchallenges.com. One of my favorite websites, let's just face it. Today I'm going to do the list that started my affair with list challenges. A few years ago, my cousin sent me a link and she said, you know, I know that you read, tell me how many of these books you've read. And I was amazed that this website existed. And since then I have played this game dozens, maybe hundreds of times, <laughs> different lists looking to see which of these books I've read. Sometime that I should be reading, I'm actually seeing how many books I've read, which I know is counterintuitive, but that's just how these things go, right? So today we're gonna play that list game together. I decided to revisit that initial list and we're gonna do it together. This is 100 must read African-American books. So books by African-American authors that made this list, not, all the African-American authors, not all their books, just the 100 that this person who curated this list put together. So here we go for 100 must read African-American authors. Are you going to tell me how many of these books you've read? And I'll tell you how I do on this challenge and we'll compare notes. <laughs> so before we get started with our list, first we must sing because it is Vlogmas. We're making a book list and checking it twice. We're gonna find out who's been naughty or nice. Book lists are coming to town. It's book lists, Vlogmas style. Hi friends, so we're here today for 100 must read African American books. The first few titles on the list Number one, the autobiography of Malcolm X as told to Alex Haley. I have read and I know many of you have too. So yes, give yourself a point right there. Next is Roots by Alex Haley, which I've also read. I read this as a child. I may have been too young for this book because it deeply wounded me. But my father had a copy from when he studied in college here in the United States. I grew up in Jamaica, if you don't know. And I found this book was a big book. And I remember saying, man, I should read this book. If I read this book, I will be ahead of the game. And I read this when I was maybe about 13 or 14 years old, forever changed. But yes, Roots by Alex Haley is number two on the list and I've read it, hope you have as well. There's also a movie series, but we're not doing adaptations today. If you've read the book, you get a point. If you watch the entire series, you don't get a point, okay? Unless you read the book. <laughs> Let's move on. Number three is Jubilee by Margaret Walker. I have never read. Number four is Kindred by Octavia E. Butler. I have only read one Octavia E. Butler novel. And this was it. So I got a point. <laughs> Next is Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. I have read. Next is Up From Slavery by Booker T. Washington. I have read. I read this maybe last year or the year before. Next is The Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison. It's on my TBR. I haven't yet read it. But number eight is The Color Purple by Alice Walker, which I have read. Next is Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl by Harriet Jacobs. I have not read. Another Country by James Baldwin. I have not read. Go Tell It on the Mountain by James Baldwin. I have not read. Number 12 is I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings by Maya Angelou. I have read. The Known World by Edward P. Jones. I have read. Plum Bun by Jesse Fawcett, I have not read. The Street by Anne Petrie, I definitely want to read that book soon, but I haven't yet read it. Next is Cain by Jean Toomer, which I read. Black Thunder by Erna Bontemps, I have not read. But I did just read a book by Erna Bontemps' great-granddaughter, but I haven't read this one. <laughs> Things Fall Apart by Shinoa Achebe, I have read. The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison, I read. Native Son by Richard Wright, I have not read. Uncle Tom's Children by Richard Wright, I have not read. Asata, Asata Shakur, I have not read. Corregidora by Gail Jones, I have not read. Makes Me Wanna Holler, A Young Black Man in America by Nathan McCall, I have not read. I Put a Spell on You, the autobiography of Nina Simone, I have not read. Before You Suffocate Your Own Fool Self by Daniel Evans, I have not read. The Coldest Winter Ever by Sister Soldier, I have not read. 
Push by Sapphire. I have not read. I watched the movie, but I didn't read the book. Dreams from My Father by Barack Obama. I have read. The Interesting Narrative of the Life of Falada Equiano. <laughs> I have not yet read. I just got a copy a few days ago. Race Matters by Cornel West. I have not read. For Colored Boys Who Have Considered Suicide When the Rainbow Is Still Not Enough. I have not read. For Colored Girls Who Have Considered Suicide When the Rainbow Is Not Enough. A Choreo Poem by Tozaki Shange. I have not read. Decoded. Jay-Z and Dream Hampton. I have not read. What Looks Like Crazy on an Ordinary Day by Pearl Cleage. I have not read. Waiting to Exhale by Terry McMillan, I did read. The Other Side of Paradise by Stacey Ann Chin, I have not read. The Intuitionist by Colson Whitehead, I have not read. The Souls of Black Folk by W.E.B. Du Bois, I have not read. The Ways of White Folks by Langston Hughes, I have not read. The White Boy Shuffle by Paul Betty, I have not read. Iced by Ray Shell, I didn't read. The Women of Brewster Place by Gloria Naylor, I haven't yet read. Beloved by Toni Morrison, I did read. The Fire Next Time by James Baldwin, I did read. I did read that, yeah. Parable of the Talents by Octavia E. Butler, I have not read. One Day My Soul Just Opened Up by Anne Levan Zant, I have not read. The Black or the Berry by Wallace Thurman, I have not read. Zami, A New Spelling of My Name by Audre Lorde, I have not read. The Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, an American Slave, written by himself, I have read. One More River to Cross by Keith Boykin, about being black and gay in America, I have not read. The Warmth of Other Sons, Isabel Wilkerson, I have read. The Wretched of the Earth by Franz Fanon, I have not read. Soul on Ice by Eldridge Cleaver, I have not read. Devil in a Blue Dress by Walter Mosley, I have not read. Sula by Toni Morrison, I have read. Passing by Nella Larson, I have read. A Lesson Before Dying by Ernest J. Gaines, I have not read. Salvage the Bones by Jasmine Ward, I have not read. The Color of Water by James McBride, I have not read. Annie Allen by Gwendolyn Brooks, I have not read. Clotel or The President's Daughter by William Wells Brown, I have not read. Or Nig, or Sketches from the Life of a Free Black, a novel by Harriet E. Wilson, I have not read. The Bond Woman's Narrative, a novel, Hannah Crafts, edited by Henry Louis Gates Jr., I have not read. Thirty Years as a Slave and Four Years in the White House by Elizabeth Keckley, I have not read. Home to Harlem by Claude McKay, I have not read. The Living is Easy by Dorothy West, I have not read. The Twelve Tribes of Hattie by Anna Mathis, I have not read. Dust Tracks on a Road, an autobiography by Zora Neale Hurston, I have read. I, Tina, My Life Story by Tina Turner, I have not read. The Pittsburgh Cycle by August Wilson, I have not read. Red River by Lalita Tademi, I have not read. Maud Martha by Gwendolyn Brooks, I have not read. Down These Mean Streets, the unforgettable best-selling autobiography of an American of Puerto Rican descent by Piri Thomas, I have not read. Brothers and Keepers by John Edgar Wideman, I have not read. Crusade for Justice by Ida B. Wells, this is her autobiography, I have not read. What Becomes of the Broken Hearted, a memoir by E. Lynn Harris, I have not read. Paradise by Toni Morrison, I have not read. Man Child in the Promised Land by Claude Brown, I have not read. The Motion of Light in Water, Sex and Science Fiction Writing in the East Village, Samuel R. Delaney, I have not read. Let Me Live by Angelo Herndon, I have not read. My American Journey by Colin Powell with Joseph E. Persico, I have not read. No Higher Honor by Condoleezza Rice, a memoir of her years in Washington, I have not read. A Small Place by Jamaica Kincaid. I have read a lot of Jamaica Kincaid books. I haven't read this one. Black Boy by Richard Wright. I have not read. Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison. I have not read. Holler If You Hear Me by Gregory Mitchie. I have not read. Man in the Middle by John Amici. 
I have not read. Half of a Yellow Sun by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, I have not read. Possessing the Secret of Joy by Alice Walker, I have not read. Tar Baby by Toni Morrison, I have not read. Not Without Laughter by Langston Hughes, I have read. Yay. Showing My Color, Impolite Essays on Race and Identity by Clarence Page, I have not read. How Stella Got Her Groove Back by Terry McMillan, I have read. B-Boy Blues, a seriously sexy, fiercely funny, black-on-black -black love story by James Earl Hardy, I have not read. Colored People, a memoir by Henry Louis Gates Jr., I have not read. Your Blues Ain't Like Mine by B.B. Moore Campbell, I have not read. Black Power, The Politics of Liberation in America by Stokely Carmichael and Charles V. Hamilton, I have not read. The New Negro, An Interpretation by Alan Locke, I have not read. I started reading this. I never got very far. It's a big book. I didn't finish it. One Way to Heaven by County Cullen, I have not read. So those were 100 must-read books by African-American authors of the 100 titles. I've read 22 of them. The average score, according to list challenges, is 17. Would love to know your score down below. So let's chat down there. Let me know if there are books that I mentioned today that you haven't yet read, but they're on your TBR, books that you'd like to get to soon, not necessarily someday, but books that you'd like to prioritize reading. And maybe maybe we could all get together and read one of these books. So next time we do these list challenges, you'll at least add one of these books to your score. Even though I haven't read all of them, <laughs> I own quite a few of them. I'm going to share them with you. This one is The Color Purple by Alice Walker. The Known World by Edward P. Jones, Beloved, and The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison, Olado Equiano's story, The Interesting Narrative and Other Writings. This one I took from my husband's shelf that he had left at his mother's house. We went to visit a few days ago and I took that. <laughs> um, this is from my husband's current shelf right here. I haven't read this one either. Richard Wright's Black Boy. Maya Angelou, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings, that is mine. This is also my husband's book, Up From Slavery by Booker T. Washington. I actually read this one last year or so. And I thought I had read this, but I think he has more than one copy of this book. This is the abridged edition of W.E.B. Du Bois's The Souls of Black Folks. No, this is unabridged. Okay, so I could read this one, but I haven't yet. So... This is going to be on my TV read soon. Dreams from My Father by Barack Obama. And the narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass, an American slave, written by himself. The autobiography of Malcolm X. Alan Locke's The New Negro. I forgot that I had this book. It's not that big. It's only 400 or so pages of text. The book about Alan Locke, the biography that came out about Alan Locke uh, a couple of years ago, maybe about four years now, was a bigger book. That was a thousand pages or so, like a thousand pages, a big white book. And I said I wanted to read it, but I never got around to it because it was just too big. I got it from the library and I probably read about 50 pages and I realized I wasn't going to finish this anytime soon. So I returned to the library. And got the book that Alan Locke had written himself. And I never read this one either. Which is terrible. Terrible. The New Negro by Alan Locke. Voices of the Harlem Renaissance. Edited by Alan Locke. Introduction by Arnold Rampersad. I should read this. Hopefully before February. Black History Month. And The Twelve Tribes of Hattie by Anna Mathis. I forgot that I had this book. I haven't read it yet. So yeah, those are some of the books that were mentioned today that I own. So of the 100 books, I read 22 of them. Would love to know your score down below. Let's chat down there. And of course, if you didn't do well on today's challenge, come back tomorrow. Every day there's another list. Some lists you're going to do better on than others. And maybe today wasn't your day, but tomorrow might be it. So I hope you join me for the next video in this Vlogmas series. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Let's chat down there. And until next time, until we come back with another video, happy reading. Bye.